Yo So I just um got a uh, player announced battlegrounds um I've been wanting to play this because of the uh the the not the hype but um the popularity and the um I just wanted to know what's so um unique and interesting about it because um I can tell you right now um I've been playing this for um eight eight hours already straight and my my head really hurts right now <laughs> just doing this uh review and um before I'm sorry about the um the quality of the camera the camera because um, I'm using my phone camera and my brother um borrowed uh, the the uh, DSLR camera so. Uh, I hope the quality is okay, but yeah, um, let's talk about um, Paranormal's Battleground. Um, is this is a uh, I do believe a indie game and got a lot of popular popularity because of the uh, Twitch gaming or something. Or it's just um, how should I say this? Uh, it is a extremely addictive uh, game and. I think they copied the uh, manga Battle Royale or the live action Japanese movie because um, the concept of it is uh, a bunch of uh, random people are thrown into an island to um, kill each other so that's pretty much the whole uh, concept and the gameplay about it so um, what's surprising about this is that um, why haven't anyone thought about this game? Because the manga, uh, I mean the the uh, the Japanese novel Battle Royale has been available for quite some time. I think it's in the nineties or the early uh, two thousand, um, early two thousand something like that. And the live action is also very old. So yeah. Um, anyway, back to the um, the game. <laughs> I can. Um, Tell you right now, um, this is a fantastic game, and I got it from about twenty-three dollars, something like that. I was supposed to play this on uh, Christmas time, but uh, I couldn't make. I just wanted to um, go uh, deeper into the gameplay for this because um, it is very addictive, and it is um, it is in the level of. Um, how should I say this? The level of um, Minecraft, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mine, I, I hate Minecraft, but the level, but it's in this level of already this addictive uh, games that you see like uh, uh, Dota or League of Legends and Counter Strike, and this this is the next one, the next big thing. Um, I just can't stop playing this game. And it is uh, also very uh, strategic and very, very uh, difficult. I, in the last eight hours of my game, I haven't killed anyone. I will post the the gameplay video probably tomorrow. That's my first uh, gameplay vid video of uh, Paranormal Battlegrounds, and <laughs> even if you. Um, die all the time you still want to play and play more because you want to get uh, better in this game it is a very strategic game it reminds me a little bit of um so calm but the problem with so calm is that um uh, it's uh it's, it's boring <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say yeah. let's go first with the um the, the problems with this game it definitely has um frame rate issues which is um it's, it's uh, a lot of problem yeah the frame rate is definitely a big problem but usually the frame rate issues go down at the beginning part of the game when you're about to get um sorted out and deployed so that's the frame rate issues and another thing is the um the graphics for the game is horrendous it's it's horrible it looks like yeah it's it's early access i, I mean it's a preview preview edition it says right here and i'm saying sure that it has hdr but it's still, it's still not um, available at the HDR, it's still not available yet. So, there's a lot of issues in it, and the controls, I hate the controls. It's It reminds me of those um, old PC games, and it's very stiff, the control, the control mechanic. 
especially if you go to uh, F first person view mode, it's hard to kill an opponent. Uh, it there's a certain like um, stiff movement. It's it's hard to um, shoot accurately. That's what I'm saying. So again, that's one of the few reasons why I'm hard, having a hard time killing a opponent, and especially because um, I'm 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 pretty good at um, getting a lot of stuff and building up the character before combat. So I did. I think my highest uh, survival rate. Um, was number six out of the uh, ninety plus. Uh, uh, I'll post a picture. So um, I, I I almost finished one round, but um, I was number six and then I died. So yeah, so uh, I felt a little bad <laughs> about that because I wanted to win so much. And again, getting money here is a little bit difficult because you, I, do, I, I think you need to kill a lot to get more more um, BP points. So um, yeah, um, that's the major problem is the the need to fix the shooting me mechanic because I really hate it. And I can understand um, still a preview edition. I know for sure um, they'll get a lot more updates to it since it's it's a broken game no, no doubt about it but if you go so past that and you go to the um the main core uh, the main concept of the game and the survival it's it's survival of the fittest here and <laughs> i can tell you right now it's um uh, it's it's a very uh realistic um survival game i mean you only have one life in the in the in the round of the game so if you die you die then you gotta have to um, go to another uh, server to fight again so that's what uh, makes it really really good and I, I just can't stop playing about it I can't stop uh, talking about it and I think that um, I wish you can go fight with uh, PC gamers because um, I don't think it's still not available it's still not in cross-platform yet for PC and Xbox Probably because the, the PC version is in 60 frames per second, and here it's in 30 frames. They should have made it 60 frames. I know, I know that even the old Xbox One can handle 60 frames per second because it does, the graphics is simple graphics. It looks like a a Valve or a a Half-Life 2 game. Uh, I forgot the name of that engine. So it's not, it's not really an Unreal Engine or the Crytek engine. It's, it looks like an old graphics engine. What is the same? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're using Unreal Engine also. <laughs> Probably hide a modified engine of Unreal Engine 3 or something. If it's 4, uh, probably that's the problem. Uh, there's also there, I want to talk about one of the... Uh, I didn't, I haven't been able to record that gameplay, but um, we were inside, there it was a squad, uh, squad match. So there was 4 of us and then we, we drove inside a tunnel. A bunker, a shell, a bunker shell, and at, inside there, there's a lot of um, weapons and uh, uh, clothes, uh, uh, battle gears, um, gear, gear. So um, I thought we were. This is one of the f a few highlights for me that felt like a real, uh, a real strategic survival game because <clears throat> when we went inside there, we thought, oh man, we got all these treasures. Then suddenly, so, uh, another squad threw a flat, a smoke grenade. It was intense. We were, we were, it was like in the one of those um, um, war type movies where you, uh, oh man, we're surrounded. We're gonna shoot everybody. It's, and there's, there's smoke everywhere. It's insane. Then we were shooting. They, they weren't there anymore. So yeah, oh my god, we, we got tricked. Then we came out. Uh, it was just uh, it was a war zone there. And whenever you think that you are, ah, I got all this, this gear, I got all this, um, this equipment, I'm a badass, then suddenly, someone kills you at the back. So that's one of the um, le um, learning curve in this game. And it's, it's, it is a very um, difficult but yet um, very fun, very, very fun game. Microsoft um, hit a jackpot on this. Um, they need to lock down the exclusivity and not, and not part it to the PlayStation 4 owners because 
I can tell you right now this is a billion dollar title and it's a perfect Xbox game and I do believe it's free on Xbox One X uh, which is a good thing. <laughs> they're they're lucky if they get if they get that. And it did I think in the first day it did already one million which is um expected to to happen because of the popularity and the fun factor in it. Well, um, what else can I say about it? Uh, right now, just thinking about it, I just wanna play again and get get good. <laughs> and you think that um, you're winning and you're, you're shooting the enemy, but you you still end up dying. And I also noticed there's uh, friendly fire, so it's uh, very realist, re realistic. So you will see it in my gameplay vid, and I sh and I shot one of the, my friends because I didn't know there was friendly fire. <laughs> And it is a, a very, um, as, I, as I said before, it's so simple. The concept is so simple, but the strategy involved, you feel like you're really going to have to uh, survive in this game. And, oh yeah, the, the, the map, I don't know if there's a new map. Oh, what else? It doesn't say anything. They said that there's supposed to be a new map, but I think I'm just playing on the same map. Um... All the time it's good it's a good thing um, that the map is a uh, huge so there's no problem with it and one of my a few tips that I want to talk about is that um, as much as possible don't engage in, in fights <laughs> at least hide until you reach uh, 20 players and then that's the time you you hunt down them because if you engage at the very beginning, you're gonna you're gonna die. <laughs> and I can understand now why this was um, part of the game of the year category at the Game Awards show. It is definitely um, uh, a worthy opponent for the game of the year category. And right now, um, I. Can pretty much tell you that um, this is becoming one of my favorite um, multiplayer online multiplayer games, and it's probably in my top five probably for uh, online multiplayer like um, Halo or the, the online multiplayer in Demon Souls and Splatoon. This is included there. It's, um, It's it's uh, a really really good game, and for such a simple concept. And another thing is the uh, I really hate the controls, but the vehicles as another issues problem, and it's hard to uh, dismount from the vehicles. So there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot a lot a lot of problems in the game, but if you if you go surpass that, it's a really good and I highly recommend this game. Um, Felt really like um, the you're living like the uh, the Japanese the Japanese um, novel the battle royale novel and or the live action film it's really the same the same concept uh, from what I heard you're gonna add story mode in the sequel it's planned <laughs> yeah um, oh yeah another thing that um, that's good is that uh, it's easy to to log in with players so it's very fast. So once you press the, um, the online multiplayer button, you're there already. You have um, teammates already ready, or you can go solo even, but it's ready. So that's a good thing. Because other um, online games take so much time just to um, just to go to a online battle or with with the squad team. I haven't played the. There's a duo, but I haven't played it. I played the solo. Solo mode is pretty good. It's for the true hardcore survival. Um, player, but the squad is um a lot more better. The squad, the squad gameplay, uh, because uh, it felt like one of those uh, war movies where there's only four of you and then there's a hundred, hundred of enemies around you. So it's a very war type game, and I highly, highly recommend Player Unknown's Battleground. This is one of the best, uh, if not uh, the best um, online shooter this gen. Or maybe in the, in the future, or 
whatever. <laughs> but this is the best um, online shooter right now, and I highly recommend it. Um, has a lot of lots of issues again, but um, if I were to get a review score right now, it's a 92 out of 100, and it probably end up being a 98 once the patches for this game um, arrives. I have a feeling that they should have released this next year or something because it's not ready. It's really not ready, but yeah, 92 out of 100 for me. <coughs> Definitely one of the best um, online shooters I have ever played in my entire life. <laughs> Aki Hikilmar here with a quick announcement. This will be my first mega giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel and once we reach a goal of 100,000 subscribers, one lucky winner out of the 100,000 subscribers will get a chance to win a Nintendo Switch and Zelda, ARMS, and Splatoon 2. So please click that subscribe button and get a chance to win all these awesome prizes.